So you want to know a day in the life of a chief technology officer? <laughs> OK, take Peter. Peter is a CTO in London. So the CEO tells Peter that they're opening two new office locations in two months. So Peter needs to get them running in eight weeks. And of course, Peter is already drowning in a sea of other projects. He's already got to project manage all the IT infrastructure, software applications, including patches and updates, networks, disaster recovery, servers, PCs, security, mobility, remote workers, as well as working through the various contracts. Now he's got to duplicate all this around two new locations, fast. Oh yeah, the boss says he wants Peter to start looking at cloud solutions because he read something interesting about cloud in the Sunday newspapers. Peter finds out his current vendor doesn't provide service in one of the new locations. He doesn't know who operates in Birmingham, so Peter researches it for two weeks and finds seven potential vendors. Seven potential vendors! And time is running out! Of course, he already knows the carrier sales reps will make promises they can't keep because they have targets to meet. I mean, they're salespeople, right? One sales rep tells Peter that his company can have them up and running in a week if he signs the contract that day. And another tells him two months, and then everything in between. Who does Peter believe? And the pricing? <laughs> All over the place for really no apparent reason. Now it's already five weeks later, and only two of the vendors he's talked to have a solution remotely close to what he needs. And now, what about cloud? The process starts all over again, and Peter is no cloud expert, so he's flying completely blind here. Who should he believe? Then, Peter talked to an agnostic trusted technology advisor. They're a third-party neutral company that operates as a telecoms and cloud solutions agency, like a consultant and a broker combined. But they're much better than that. I'll tell you about that in a second. You see, the right telecom and cloud consultant already knows the strengths and weaknesses of every carrier and supplier in the country. They know which suppliers can fit the needs of Peter's industry, his locations, and his company's unique systems and strategies. Better yet, instead of sitting on the other side of the table during strategy discussions, a telecoms and cloud consultant sits on the same side of the table as Peter, as a true partnership. The consultant doesn't have sales targets to hit with suppliers because of their affiliation with a technology services distributor. They can choose from dozens or even hundreds of suppliers, with no obligation or incentives to choose one, meaning Peter gets the best solution for his company, not for the salesperson's. In short, the advisor cares less about selling Peter something and more about helping Peter find the right solution. When there's a problem, Peter calls his new vendor-neutral telecom and cloud partner, not a customer service representative. Escalations get prioritized for Peter. Since the telecoms and cloud agency is a business, not a job-hopping sales rep, they're investing in Peter and his company for decades. And Peter literally has one throat to choke when problems arise. Total accountability before, during, and after implementation. But that's not even the best part. You see, whatever supplier and solution that Peter and his telecoms and cloud partner decide on, his consultant will negotiate rates with the supplier that are the same or better than Peter would get by going direct. Get this, Peter doesn't have to pay the consultant anything for doing all of this work. Zero. The agency gets paid by the supplier, as if they would pay one of their own sales reps. Well, better actually. So, Peter gets all the service, strategy, accountability, trust and optimal solutions at zero cost. And because the consultant is invested in a long-term relationship with Peter, something that their own business success depends on, this means they're more accountable to Peter. So everybody wins, including the supplier who gets more business without having to manage salespeople. It's how business is evolving in IT and telecoms. So do you want to get all these benefits of working with a no-cost consultant? Call us today and let's get started.